have a little late night at uh here at my guy's shop stitched by slick man he did so many tears I'm about to show y'all i'm gonna cut to some tears he did i mean gonna show y'all his own cutlass Got little projects in here, man. I'm uh, going ahead, let's check them out. Yeah, hey, man, I'm inside here. Working on this Chevelle. Adult master building. Wrapped up the seats. Console. Kind of wrapped up for them. Now you gotta do the top on it. Got it wrapped up. We got a couple little projects going on. We got a little Monte Carlo in here. I was painting by phase three. So you got to do some things to it too. But. Got some projects going on. Man of the hour right there. Slick himself.
made it right up because it is for sale right now. Some of the seats he done did over the over the years or so. Because I'm also posting a little video and just tag cars and stuff he done did interior in. Yeah. Master at work right here. Uh huh. <laughs> Live and direct. <laughs> Behind the scenes. I'm not even really supposed to be seeing this. Put that double stitch on. Don't see how you do it. It's amazing. <laughs> hey man, got more patience than a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I keep a box of razor blades. <laughs> got that little hint of suede. Got that rawhide. Bubble trouble. Man, I can't wait to see it when it's all done. It's gonna be crazy. Well, she gonna be clean, boy. <laughs> Okay, slick shop again. Redoing the top on the 75 Caprice. The don't mess with the lines on the 46s. Let's see what It's gonna be brown.
Yeah, it's just a few projects they got going on. Yeah, the stitch by slick out here in Lexington, South Carolina. tripping on me.
Mm-hmm. Got them for the windows right there. Was it 72? 72. 72 colors. Sell deuce. So we're talking about his patterns in the seat now. He just kind of come up with everything. So how you say he came with that pattern? Pretty much off a bubble. Took the console apart. Just mirrored the image. Flipped it one side. Chalked it out. Flipped it the other side. Chalked it out. And it came out like that. I don't need that. my light again. Wait. My little light ain't. Ain't hitting them much. Say so you got it from the console from a like in the out of impalas and how it curves down on the console on the side piece of the curve. You said kind of copy that and came out with a nice pattern there. Very nice. On flay. Mm-hmm. Shade all them off. The hood trim. All that chrome go across the front of the hood. Mm -hmm. Took all that off. Just made it look more smooth. Molded the, um, you know how they had them little separate little chrome pieces on there? Yeah. We just molded all that in together. All the way around the whole front. It's crazy. All the cr chrome trim that's on these cars. You got it in a brush pattern. Wrapped it. Got rid of all of it. All this that normally be chrome on these cars. Brush. So he didn't want no chrome on it. I said, yeah, it's still. Yeah. No. <laughs> and that just came out perfect. <laughs> Fuck, I'm just a lucky. Yeah. <laughs> and shoot, I found one dude, man, one. One dude that used to work there. Yeah. He started doing it out of his garage. Little garage. Man, I was over that motherfucker every day. And this a rock he used a rock here? Yeah. Every day. Yep, picked up on it, picked up on it, asked a million questions. Went and bought a little cheap car. Start <laughs> playing with it too. What? The first thing. I couldn't wait to mess it up, boy. I probably broke a hundred needles. <laughs> I bought every needle from Walmart the Hancock. No, 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 son, you need this. You need this. Finally got me on the point, you know what I mean, what I needed. Started getting on the road in, you know what I mean? And shoot, I, I just took it serious then, you know. Ever since then. I like, mean, I want to sew. Started in 99, well, 2000. Yep, 2000. With a sewing machine. I mean, did you start with cars though? Or did you just start with anything? I mean, I can imagine most of it probably somewhat similar. Like, yeah, well, I started behind the sewing machine. I was in sixth grade. 
Mm -hmm. I started behind the sewing machine in sixth grade. Man, I was sewing little shorts and pillows and yeah. stuff like that, you know what I mean, with my granny. You know what I mean? She, yeah. That's all she would do, man. You sit at the table. Just doing this here. Doing this here. I started hand sewing, cross stitching. Man, this kind of neat. How you can flip it inside out and make that. Yeah. I was like, man, ain't no way for my square. Shoot, I just been I just been fascinated with that. You know what I mean? Using your hands on that aspect of it. But shoot, I went to school for mechanics. Yeah. What? <laughs> I went to school. I was doing mechanics, man. Man, I don't like this. Ain't ain't, ain't what you want. I don't like this. Yo. Damn, Frank. Yeah, man, you can't get the grease out your fingers for days. Yeah, that's just saying. Look man. dirty like that. I took a bath. <laughs> I took a bath. <laughs> yeah, I ain't like that, though. I said, man, I'm finna take this song serious, man. Shit. That's crazy. Because he was at some place in Rock Hill working for them for a while, wasn't he? A while ago. I feel like I remember that a long time ago. What's that? I don't even know what the place was. Was you working for a place in Rock Hill one time? Doing a poster? Yeah. I was working with... What's the name of that place? I another bet was... level? That might have been you know? another level cost. I, I, I just remember you was doing something. Yeah, man, dude named Slick didn't tear. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. Because you did a thing in the back window. Is that in your, is that in your Cadillac? Which one? Like the the one where you wrapped the, the, the hood. hood and all that. Yeah, that was my old Cadillac. You still got that car? Man, I just sold that car. Bro, it, it drove past me when I was heading to your Leave shop. It. Yeah, he was just leaving from the shop. Yeah, he was just leaving from the shop. It drove past me. Yeah. yeah, that's my old Cadillac. Man, I had that thing so long, bro. I was so ready to get rid of that car. <laughs> so bro, I got a video of that car on my YouTube. Yeah, yeah. you do? Yeah, that's yeah. so funny. And no, that was what? My... Shoot, that was probably what, 2010 or yeah, something? Yeah, man, that was, I think that was at a car show in, uh, that might be a car show. Oh, it was, oh, it was Greenwood. It was, yep. Yeah, down in Greenwood. Um, that's so crazy. <laughs> Oh, um, Maylack. Then you got the Ultimate. That was cool. Yeah. And they reached out to me down there, Ultimate. So, come on down, man. You know, I brought some of my pictures. Bring your portfolio. Shit, come on down there, holler at him. You know, like you say, everything is a stepping stone. Yeah. You know? Look where you came at now, man. Got your own place. That's tight. Yeah, bro. Everybody reaching out to you. Yeah. On the internet, like on Instagram and all that kind of stuff. That should be crazy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> that stuff be crazy. You know, I don't know how to deal with that. I'm just a worker. Yeah. I'm just a laborer. You know, I always played the background for the longest. Yeah. You know. And my woman say, accept it. Just accept it. I mean, it's just, you know, I still got to work. <laughs> Still got to get it done. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Find something you love doing. Oh, yeah. I mean, do anything else be too hard? Like, do, damn, you ain't really find nothing? Or you just got now to the point where it's just your mind know what, what it's got to happen now? Yep. Ain't no turning back now. I'm too far in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too deep in the game now. But I just love a challenge, though. I just love a challenge. What about doing tear in that one? Was it, I mean, I know you probably did a couple of new dashes. Was it, was it hard to get down in there? No. No? It wasn't too bad. So the door panels come from the car, too? Because they, or do you make your own door panels? They just got lined up with the side of the dash. Yeah. But you make your own door panels still? Yeah, I, you can, but you know, if I'm gonna do that new model dash, I want to do the new model doors. Okay. That way, it all kind of oh. give you that that feel. You yeah. know what I mean? Instead of new model dash and flat doors. Yeah. But that's all I pretty much want to dog on. Start focusing on man, is doing them the material swap. Like with new, the new interiors, yep. and the old cars. Yep. Have a lot of people reach out for you by doing those? Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people get scared away of the price 
but they don't understand. Like, man, you buying stuff out of 2010 and 12 cars, this stuff ain't, like, cheap, you know what I mean? Yeah. Sometimes you have $1,500 in a lot of these parts, you know what I mean? Yeah, just in parts. Just in parts. And then you got to get everything. To make it fit right. To make it fit right and look right, you know what I mean? Yep. Has anybody been serious about doing it? Yeah, I got that. Did you see the dunk on the other side? That was in the last booth where the door was probably closed over there. No, I only seen that money call of the truck and the Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was in the it was in the other bay over there. I'm doing a new mod interior in that one. Yeah. Yep. Yep, he was serious about it. Getting the dash and all mocked up. Yeah, y'all let me know when you get down close down with that one too. Yeah, that thing gonna be clean too. He got some apes coming forward.